All right, back for another beer review, and today I am reviewing a beer from the Hudson Valley Brewery, and they are out of Beacon, New York, and this is their Total Internal Reflection. This is what they're calling an Oat Sour IPA. Yeah, Sour IPA. Comes in at 7% alcohol by volume, no IBUs listed, and at the time of this review, this beer is a few days shy of one month old, so... Still pretty damn fresh, and I want to give a huge shout out to my buddy Eric for hooking me up with this one. So thank you very much, good sir. If you guys are interested in the other goodies that uh, Eric hooked me up with, I'll post a link in the description box to the beer haul video. So Hudson Valley Brewery. This is the first time I'm reviewing anything from them on my channel, although I've had a few beers from them over the past six months on tap at local establishment, uh, establishments in the Western New York area. And uh, they're basically, according to many, killing the sour IPA game. If you get in a discussion with somebody about sour IPAs, there's a good chance that Hudson Valley Brewery pops up in that discussion. And I'm really excited to uh, give them a review here on camera. I can't wait. Anyway, so like I said, they're calling this an oat sour IPA and that's because this is a sour IPA. And according to their untapped page for this beer, they are brewing this with a heavy addition of both flaked and malted oats, lactose, and then they're dry hopping this with both citra and azaka. Sounds fucking delicious. Let's give it a pour. Using a Barn Cat uh, Taku from Canada, Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. And uh, no rhyme or reason, I just want to. Oh, this is very light, almost looking like lemonade coming out. Wow. That's quite crazy. Yeah, so it's fizzing away. You know, pro I'm assuming they're using lacto in here. I don't know. Uh, if their sour IPAs are, you know, kettle soured or like proper soured or whatnot, I imagine kettled. But yeah, look at that. That head faded away. So this has this like opaque, murky lemonade color, very bright and vibrant yellow, almost like a neon yellow. Like I said, that was a bright white one, one and a half finger uh, head that dissipated now to a thin film. And now it looks more like some kind of uh, lemonade. And, it, and you can hear the snap, crackle and pop to the carbonation. So highly carbonated. But yeah. Looks like a beautiful beer. Let's get a nose. Yeah, it smells. It ha There's a lot of like lemon tartness to this one. Ooh, a little bit of funkiness in there too. Almost like a... Yeah, that lemon character is kind of vibing with like this sour peach note. Yeah, wow. That's uh, This This honestly smells very heaven lemon. Uh, lem you serious right now? <laughs> what an idiot this guy is. Very lemon heavy um, uh, in the nose. And it's, like I said, vibing with that like sour stone fruit character. And there's a little bit of like funkiness underneath all of it. <sighs> yeah, a lot of stone fruits actually. As I keep on getting in here, nectarine and fucking apricot, just tons of, tons of stone fruits. Definitely smells tart, not overly sour, but like a, a tart lemonade with some stone fruits and a little bit of funkiness. Not a whole lot else going on. It smells, and I've said this multiple reviews lately because of the, you know, it's the middle of summer and it's fucking hot out. It smells super refreshing. That's what it smells like. It smells like summertime in a glass, so let's get into it. Cheers. Goddamn. Wow. There's only like, tell right now, there's only like maybe four or five characters total going on right now in my, in, in, on my palate, in my mouth. And um, it's great. It's a great time. First off, you're hit with this not full on sour blast of like lemon candy, but a very, very tart lemon candy, almost like a lemon warhead, maybe dialed down by like 20 or 30%. So it doesn't have the full-on puckering um, sourness. It has more of like a, you know, very high tartness to it. And then that candy vibe is kind of, I imagine this is where the lactose is playing a, a role in there, giving a little bit of a sweeter vibe to it. A lot of times when I get lactose, I get like vanilla. Um, not really getting vanilla in this one. It just, it's like kind of making that lemon character a li little bit more candied as opposed to like a fresh fruit. As it passes through the palate though, that tartness is there throughout, but then those stone fruits mid palate just hit you, and it's like uh, gummy peach ring, um, yeah, gummy peach rings, 
with like a little bit of like a sour apricot a nectarine vibe going on. Really cool. Really, just really different. The mouthfeel, 7%. It's like a lighter side of medium bodied. It is a bit thin for the uh, ABV, but for me, that makes it a little bit more drinkable because it's so refreshing. I don't want it to be any any more viscous than it already is. Now, it's not really viscous, but I just don't want any more viscosity here. I just, it's nice on a, as a lighter um, <clears throat> body. Mouthfeel, crisp, slightly clean. There's a little bit of like that tartness and a little bit of like, um, uh, a little bit of a sugar component there. This finish is way more sweeter than it does dry. So it's almost like you had a uh, soda pop, you know, the kind of in the back of the throat, you're kind of left with that. But yeah, uh, lighter side of medium body. It has a um, crisp, spritzy carbonation to it. It finishes sweeter, more sweet than dry. And then uh, there's no alcohol at 7%, nothing going on there. And yeah, most of the characteristics lemon candy, lemonade, um, some, you know, like peach gummy ring sweetness going on, a little bit of sour apricot and nectarine. That funkiness really didn't carry over. Honestly, if I was drinking this blind, I would be like, this is some kind of lemonade beer, some kind of lemonade. I wouldn't even say IPA because even though it has those nice stone fruits and the lemon vibe to it and whatnot, it's drinking more like a Sour Rattler. It has a more fruit component to it. Regardless, this is super refreshing, quite tasty. And the one thing I can really say about this beer is that if you've never had a sour eye pain, even if you have, this is very unique. This is this is very unique. Um, it's not blowing my socks off. It's not uh, like one of the best sour beers I've ever had. Might be the best sour IPA I've ever had because I haven't had a lot. But uh, as far as rating goes for the total internal reflection from the Hudson Valley Brewery, I'm gonna give this a solid 4.25 out of five. Um, I'd want a little bit more complexity and maybe just more bolder flavors going on. As is, there's four or five characteristics in here. Very cohesive and it's just well made. But for me, you know, it doesn't jump into that four or five, four, seven, five range, but still a very good beer. So if you guys have had anything from Hudson Valley or had a sour IP in general, I want to hear about it. And uh, I want to thank Eric again for hooking me up with this beer. And uh, yeah, that does it for another beer review. So please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, till the next one, cheers.